Hey everybody, I'm Rennie with Auto Detailing TV and Detailing Success. And I've got a couple cool cats that are with us right now from Dr. Color Chip. And if you've got a rock chip, a blemish, even a scratch, these two gurus of hiding all those blemishes are here to give us a quick little introduction on how the system works. So, yeah. well, thanks. Thanks, got Rennie. Tony? It's great to see you. Yeah. It's great to be up here. Yeah, in what's up, buddy? How you doing, country. Man? And, uh, yeah, we're going to show you a little bit of our magic of Dr. Color Chip. Do it to uh, it. You know, we've been around for about 12 years. We've got a neat little product. It's unique in the application. Um, regular touch-up has been pretty much the same for the last 50 years. And a lot of people are very nervous about it because in many cases, it looks worse after it's been done. You know, you get the paint blobs, the measles, and things like that. But Dr. Color Chip, what we do is we apply this product in a unique way. And you can see on this panel, there's a bunch of stone chips, right? What did you guys do to that thing? It's amazing what a bolt oh. will do. To oh, no. Car. Is that a bolt? <laughs> this is actually a hood from a junkyard. I mean, this is just it a... It was heavily chipped. It, it was heavily wow, chipped. Wow, I yeah. guess so. They yeah, must so have... It's pretty cool stuff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of you have seen this before, and you're just going to dab that and smear. Dab and smear it on there. And, it, and it's okay to make a mess. I am probably the worst at our company in terms of using way too much paint. But I like yeah, you didn't draw on the lines in kindergarten, did you? You're no, all over the place. Not at all. And you know what? I, I dig you. Dab and smear, okay? And so you see there was about five chips and even a little scratch there that I've just covered that. Wow. All right? Wow. Our paint, you know, when you're ordering a kit um, for yourself, a do-it-yourself kit, we guarantee the color match to your car. Uh, our kits come with everything in them that you see, so it's, uh, it, it, it's pretty neat. I mean, everything you need to do this repair on your own is contained in this kit. Right so kit. It's, it's a very simple process. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of time. It's a permanent repair. It's not uh, one of those colored waxes or something that's going to wash out after a couple of weeks. Once this paint dries, our paint is made to dry quickly but cure slowly. Once this paint dries, after about seven or ten days, it has the same integrity as the OEM factory paint on your hood, so or whatever part of the car you're doing. So I mean, it's a it's the real deal, and it and it, and it truly works. Um, now, what years do you guys? You guys, you, it's really cool. Those that what's your website address? Uh, www. Dot. Dr. Colorchip. Com. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we were in the same kindergarten class together. <laughs> it's, yeah, <I> was, um, <laughs> been a long trip. We, we, uh, what's cool is you can go right to the website. You don't have to have the color code. You no. can actually go off of make, model, and year. It's right? all the little drop-down boxes, year, make, model. All Pretty the easy. Come up. Yep. Now, how old of, a, of models do you go back? We'll and... go back into the 1950s, early 60s. You're kidding me. It's not complete. It's, right? not, it's not complete, but Get we have here. most of the colors and most of the formulations. You're kidding me. What we don't have is a lot of the color samples from back then. Gotcha. So we, we work with our customers. We do custom make those older colors. Got gotcha. you. We work with them if there happens to be a paint mismatch to try to make it right. For Can I customer. tell a story real quick? Sure, please do. I've got a 67 Chevelle. I'm going to put a dare up to you. Okay. Bring it on. I used this system. store. I didn't use the professional kit. I used uh -huh. three colors. Mm -hmm. So I, I use, my wife's artistic. I'm not. I was yeah. in your kindergarten class. Drew all over the Big place. Big crayons. Tongue hanging out the mouth. Big you know, crayons. All over the place. Right. Um, I went through it and I asked my wife what what colors off the spectrum makes up the color of my car, which is a vanilla color. Mm -hmm. So she said, I would say this, this, and this. So I went in and bought those three colors from your website. Uh huh. Very and I cool. mixed them, and I'd put a dab on there. Oh, nope, awesome. that's off. And I'd wipe this it. This is why you're the guru. And I then I'd it. mix it again, it. and then I'd do it. Uh -huh. And I want you guys to go in. Ray's going to catch it, and I want you to see if you can find the chips. I bet we can. No, I don't know, you know? No, you can't. No, you can't. I because I, I got well, faith in your system, but I'm good. Well, in all I'm seriousness, good. you know, you're a professional, and you're one of the best in the industry, and that's why we're here and grateful to be with you. But, uh, no, that's that's serious. But, but the fact of the matter is, is the do-it-yourself kit, we sell thousands and thousands of these every month and we have excellent testimonials we have excellent I mean you can just google Dr. Color Chip testimonials and the end user if it's John Smith in Dubuque Iowa in many cases will either email us or go to a car forum or whatnot and say wow this stuff really works and that grassroots marketing um, that just guy getting excited about fixing his car or her gotcha. car is awesome and so you know it really does work and, 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 and in many cases you don't see it if you don't know that chip is there you're not going to see it. So it's going to be a challenge for us now, in there. I got a buddy of mine, Vince, that uh, he's a regular here in the shop. He's got a, a brand new 2014 Camaro SS, and mm -hmm. it's his baby. But he's got a, already just a little bit of a rock chip up front. 
Do you guys you guys have kits for those oh, early absolutely. models too? So yeah, something yeah. that just came out. Yeah. That's oh yeah, sure. Cool. I mean, it goes up through 2014. I think we're actually already into 2015. Yeah, we're, we're moving 2015 kits now. So. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. So that's all the way back. Stuff. So okay, Guru. Well, you know, show me what you got. Bottom line is, you know, this paint has been applied. The instructions, if you were doing it at home, doing it do, yourself. Do people read those? I don't know, but they do, do it, watch. Do it, they do, do it. They, do, they do watch videos. Okay. We have the videos as good, well. Good, good, So good, there's do-it-yourself videos and instructions. But um, we suggest that you let it dry for about five to ten minutes. But you know, we're here in a dry climate. We're outside where yeah. we like to be in the natural lighting and whatnot. So you know, this is already dry, and you can see that paint's. Yep, a little tacky still, but yeah. it's 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 going. It's, it's good enough. So ideally, how long? I would say five to ten minutes is okay. really probably the best. Is there too long? Can you leave it on too no, long? No, you can go have lunch. I mean, we there's some stories where people left it for a couple hours, and it's really not a problem okay. at all. So, right on. Um, but after the paint is dried, we're going to use step two. And one thing I wanted to mention, because this is very important, our paint is unlike other uh, out of a regular touch-up paint. This is not regular touch-up paint. Our paint is made in a unique way so that it works with our blending solution. Gotcha. And this paint is made to dry quickly, cure slowly, but it's also made so that our Sealac blending solution will take it off of here. You cannot use our Sealac with regular touch-up paint you buy doesn't at the work. store. It doesn't. How work. do I know? It won't take it off. How do I know? You can try it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I try. I, you can try I it. Tried it. And you might want to buy some yeah. sandpaper yeah, yeah, and all yeah, that yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. It didn't work too good. But but for us, that's one of the unique things about Dr. Color Chip is our paint and our blending solution work together. And so Dang. this paint here, we got it. We got it all smeared all over the hood. All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake, 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 put a little bit of this on this cotton cloth for wiping, and now I'm just going to wipe. And I'm going to wipe this for about probably 45 seconds. Very light pressure. You're letting just, the seal act do the work. Yep, you're letting the chemicals do the work. And all so not bearing do. down on it. No. Basically you don't want just... to dig in, otherwise you will remove the paint from the chin. And gotcha. notice how my hand is flat. I'm not digging it in. Gotcha. Okay, I'm just using the flat of my hand. Wow, look at that. Coming off. And you can start seeing coming that off. excess coming away. I can see your bicep too, dude. I know, dude. I've been yeah. going to the gym. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell. Uh, do I, <laughs> have I gone to the gym lately? <laughs> I don't know. But, oh, wait, there it goes. It, hey, there it comes. There it comes. Goes. There goes the excess. Look at that. Now, what I'll do on one of these chips. I'll, I'll, look, if I press so hard, I'm like, oh, my You're gosh. You're going to pull it out. Uh oh! Look yep, at that. There, there goes. I just pulled it out. And you, but it did take it. a little work. Uh, you, you did have to press pretty yeah, hard. Yeah. You let that paint dry in the chip. It's going to take a little longer time to remove the excess. Got yeah. But if you're working with the bigger chip, you're going to want to let it dry a little longer, anyways. Wow. But if you remember, Bam, when there I applied it is. this, when I applied this, I applied it to chips, and there was a scratch there. Yep, there was. So that was a little scratch. Got that excess gone there. Uh, that excess gone there. Now, is there any time where you feel it's you're maybe wiping a little too hard? It's not cured. Just stop for a little while. Let it dry a little more. Right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. And like yeah. right now, I mean, I could take a little more time. But see how I can start pulling that paint out. If I push too hard, I'll start pulling that paint out. So there's a little diminishing returns you get to. That's but it. But you know what? You're done. It's taken us five, six minutes. We fixed about four or five chips. And you know you can go back and build it up and do more depending on how much time you you have or how into it you are. You know some people go back and do it two or three times and just you know feather it and feather it. And you know that's that, that we love those folks. So the moral of the story is if you're a do-it-yourselfer, just take some time. By the time that you're through a couple scratches or, or chips, you're going to be better at it. Absolutely, patience. And, and then yeah, and and I always tell people, you know what, get it and try a couple spots, and then take a little break. Come back, take a look at it, see what it is. And then practice again. And you 100%. know what I've always done is, you know, I got a wonderful wife. I started with her car first. Yeah. And then I did my car last. Yeah. Then you do the good. Mine looked great. <laughs> Mine looked fantastic. <laughs> no, that's great. But uh, that's Dr. Color Chip. And again, I just want to say thank you for your time. Thank you, you for it. inviting us up here. You got and, it. And um, uh, you know, have fun. Well, no matter if you're a do-it-yourself or at home, a serious car guy, or a pro like uh, myself, they've got a product for you all the way from a big advanced kit down to a do-it-yourself kit. And guys. Hey, thanks for thanks coming again. out. Thanks, you got it, man. Thank you. Let's uh, let's go challenge you to that Chevelle. Thanks, oh, guys. Go see that. Yeah, yeah, let's go check it out. All thanks, right. man. Find those chips. There you go.